Hi, in this video, I wanna talk about five reasons that people fail at math. There are all kinds of reasons why people fail at math, but I wanna talk about these five because these five seem to occur quite often. So the first reason that people seem to fail at math quite often is that their background isn't good enough. So this happens, okay, this happens. This almost happened to me, but in physics. You know, when, when I took physics uh, one and two specifically, uh, I had a really hard time because my math background was not that good. In fact, I felt like I studied maybe 100 times more than my classmates. I mean, I was always studying and I was always struggling. Whereas I felt like my classmates were just breezing through and, and getting A's. And looking back, it was because of my bad math background. I mean, my background was just not good enough. I didn't realize that until many, many semesters later where I thought, hey, wait a minute, I couldn't solve this basic equation <laughs> for, for P. Why can't I solve that? Like, because my math wasn't good enough. So having a bad math background is something that you know, can affect people. So how do, you, how do you fix that? I think the best way to fix it is, well, just to try harder. There really is no, no secret. Sometimes people will say stuff like, well, if I have a bad math background in XYZ, should I review XYZ while I'm in the class so that I can succeed in the class? And the answer is, I don't know. Because if you spend a lot of time on review material, that's time you could be spending on the actual class material. I always think that whenever you're taking a class, it's always better to focus on the actual class content than to focus on other things that will help you for the class. It's much more fun to focus on other things, but honestly, if you're being tested on XYZ, it's better to study XYZ and then just pick up those little skills that you need along the way. The second reason that people sometimes fail at math is poor study skills. I would rate my study skills as okay. They're not like super, super awesome. Um, I was never that person who would have, you know, all of the homework done, you know, right away. It would usually, I was somewhere in the middle. So by poor study skills, I mean people who just, you know, don't do the homework or, you know, they never study for a test. You want to make sure that you at least do all the homework and, you know, study for your test. Uh, working with other people is something that I never did too much of and looking back definitely would have helped. Um, you know, having good study skills is important. One thing you can do to really improve your study skills is to focus on consistency. So maybe try to study like, you know, one to two hours every single day and I think that really, really will improve your, your performance. The third reason that people sometimes fail at math is that they let others discourage them. And this could be anyone, right? This could be, this could be your friends. Maybe your friends aren't in college and you are. And so they're like, oh, you're going to school, come hang out with us, right? So that, that could be the situation. Maybe it's your family. Maybe you think the teacher is discouraging you. Now, a lot of times uh, when that happens, when people think it's the teacher, it's really not, right? You gotta remember that most teachers, <laughs> like they really care, right? They're teaching because they want to help people. So, you know, you do get those rare situations where, you know, the teacher says something and it's like not really nice, but don't let, don't let that bring you down because at the end of the day, it's, it's your life, right? So don't let someone else be responsible for, for your success. The fourth reason that people sometimes fail at math is probably one of the biggest ones. It's time. Yeah, time. So we only have 24 hours in a day. All of us have the same amount of time in a day. And time is super valuable because that's all we have, right? Those 24 hours every single day. And we have other responsibilities. Maybe you have other classes. Maybe you have a significant other. Maybe you have a family. Maybe you have a job. So time. Unfortunately, math takes a lot of time. So, so how do you create more time? Really, it's about making sacrifices. So you have those 24 hours in a day, you have to cut back somewhere. I find that a lot of people that I've seen, a lot of students that I've seen, they take a bunch of classes and they work. And I think that's, I just, I don't know how they do it. I think it's too much. For me, uh, my situation was different. I took maybe, you know, three to six classes a semester, but I didn't work, right? I just took out loans and went to college and I felt I needed to do that because I felt that math was very difficult 
and, and I felt that I wouldn't be able to do as well as I wanted to if I didn't have you know, a lot of time to study. And so it worked for me. Now I realize that might not be possible for everyone, but that was my path, right? Taking out some loans and going to college. The fifth reason that people sometimes fail at math is lack of confidence. So confidence in math is something that I really never had a problem with. I was lucky to never suffer from this. So how do you build confidence? Well, how I built it was by succeeding, right? Once I had my first success, once I had my first 100, I was like, whoa, <laughs> this is great. I love math, you know, this is amazing. And I was able to kind of just keep building on that. So you just have to get that first success. So once you get that first success, your confidence will, will get better. So over time, you can build confidence by just doing better. So those are five reasons that people fail at math. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.